In our mission to show the world that there is more to the Niger Delta than crude oil, violence, militancy and oil spillage, I embarked on a 5-10 to 10 years project that will show the beauty of our land, our people and our culture. To document our culture, we started from Igbedi community of Kolokuma, Opokuma local government area of Bayosa State, Nigeria. I met my friend Peters and together we travelled from Yenegua to his community. But while embarking on this journey, I am faced with some difficulties, like it's my first time ever doing this. I lack enough information about this festival before traveling there. I have just two batteries in my camera, which is not enough for a long time, and we do not have a drone for some very interesting and important shots. But these challenges make this journey even more interesting and exciting to embark on. So follow our journey and find out if these challenges will stop us from preserving this very important and beautiful Niger Delta culture. The Ibedi Uge Festival is celebrated every year in the Ibedi community of Kolokuma Opokuma local government area in Bayosa State, Nigeria, and it usually lasts for 47 days, though we're privileged to attend just one day. The celebration started after the Biafra War in 1967 and ended on August 12, 1968, though it officially kicked off in 1970, making this the 52nd festival year. According to the chief and the people, they suffered during the war but no life was lost in their community and that's the reason behind the celebration. But the major cultural activities during this festival date as far back as the discovery of the Ijo culture and have been taking place for many centuries before now. The war boat, also known as Omuaru in the Gbede community, is an integral part of the Ijoman culture. It is a special boat designed and used specifically for war, and because of the riverine nature of Ijo land, their major means of transportation was water. According to history, this war boat was used when two communities wanted to engage in combat. In the war boat, there are some men with drums assigned to just sing and chant during the war. Their songs and drum beats give the warriors the morale needed to win the combat. These men are always present with the warriors at the war front. That guy now, all the demons don't enter him, but he... There's a man in front who stands as the lead and the eyes of the war boat. His role is to communicate between their gods and the rest of the warriors. He holds something called Awala, which makes the spirit of the deity to possess him and whatever instruction he gives, the rest of the boat follows. There's a tendency for him to fall into the river when the spirit possesses him, so someone is specially assigned to hold him and prevent this from happening. In the middle of the boat, there is a square made with fresh palm fronts. This square can be likened to the powerhouse of the war boat and it is also where the leader holding the awala in front draws his powers from. It usually has a man holding a calabash which is not to dispel bullets from touching anyone in the war boat, hence giving the warriors the confidence to go to war. Igbedi community has six compounds which are Adebiri, Babawari, Obabiri, Egwebiri, Opotulubou, and Orubiri. Each compound has their deities. Some of them are Osekonseya, Oguma, Okumatu, and many others. During the festival, the war boat stops at each compound where the deities used to be before their shrines were destroyed to pay homage to them, dance, and collect a bottle of local gin. How are you? I did fine. You did fine? What did they fine for here? I want to look this wrestling. The wrestling? Yes. And you said I want to follow them wrestling. You said you want to follow them wrestling? Okay, they wait for them when they come, when the wrestling start, Abby. Yes. You go wrestle too. Hey! If you fight. I'm what? strong. You strong. Show us a muscle. Show us a muscle. Stage is set. Chairs, canopies, and people gathering to witness what we can call the main event of the day the wrestling match. There are some wrestlers preparing outside the ring with drummers and singers positioned for this main event. The 
wrestling is another integral part of the Ijo culture. It has been an important sporting activity and has served as a form of entertainment across the Ijo land for many centuries. It unifies the people bringing them together in one place during the Igwe de Uge festival as the wrestlers do not have to come from the same community. You can see some wrestlers and even children fighting in the ring as a way of entertaining the audience before the main fight. Traditionally, before the champions step into the ring, the drummers and the supporters will go around the ring singing and dancing to create some awareness that it is the turn of the main champions to wrestle. This practice is done only for the main champions as the songs and the drum beats gives them the courage and morale to fight brilliantly. There are two wrestlers in the ring representing their respective communities. We have Umbu of Agobiri community versus Andaowe of Otuan community. The rules are simple. One must ensure that the backside of the opponent touches the ground no matter how slightly, whether it is his back or his shoulders. We can see it in the way that each wrestler tries to achieve this. There is no specific prize for the winners although most times it is a form of cash or the title as a winner of the match which comes with praises from people. In those days, these champions have the advantage of women coming around them so they could marry many wives because they are seen as strong men. They also get decorated with a lot of rappers and earn respect from the people in their community. The wrestling is a very important part of the Ijo culture and it is so interesting to watch. We have in fact uh, lost a lot of our uh, uh, culture or traditions. In fact, uh, most of the culture is now either adulterated or lost. So it's a problem. But we still try to hand it over, hand it down to the younger generation with what we are doing. It is also I uh, wanted to mention that this festival is bringing the people of this community once again together on an annual basis. Every 12th of August and the subsequent days where the event is held, our people, sons and daughters, illustrious sons, come from far and near to celebrate, to once again reunite with their families, old friends that uh, they have missed over the period and all of that. So it is also a moment of reunion. Thank you so much for spending your time to watch this video to the very end. And as we all know, a lot of our culture in Africa is fading away. And like the chief said, even in this community, they've lost a lot of their culture. So I also discovered something that while doing the research for this video, I discovered that we were the only ones that have documented this cultural festival. That's one of the reasons why it was, it was difficult for me to be able to document it when I got there. But I did all I could do. And why are we doing this? You know, we are doing this because of the younger generation, the unborn children may never would know what their culture looked like because you know it's unfortunate that our cultures are fading away, but it's, it's still inevitable. You know, but this is the best time to document it. We need more people telling our stories, we need the world to see our stories. The younger ones will never know what it looks like if we don't document it today. We are not criminals, we are not militants in the Niger Delta, we are not violent people. We have beautiful culture, we are amazing, we are loving, we are welcoming people. And those are the stories that we need the world to hear. You know, we need more people telling these stories. So thank you so much for being part of this journey. This is the first cultural festival we have documented in the Niger Delta region because we are going to be traveling, you know, we are going to be telling more stories about our culture across the region. And we appreciate your support in any way you can. You know, one of the first ways you can support is by liking this video, sharing it to somebody, commenting and very importantly subscribing to the channel because we have more videos coming in. You know, so if you love the video, if you learned something, you enjoyed it, you can like and you know support us in any way you can. Links are in the description below, you know, so you can find out how to support it. So thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Thank you for being part of the journey. And um, yeah, I can't wait to share more of our culture with you. And I believe that together we can recreate our narrative and we can retell our stories of the Niger Delta. So thank you and God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 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 come on,
The whole day. How was the experience of the whole it day? It was so good. <laughs> From morning to very, 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 very nice. As we are buying a galette yeah. We are buying a galette since yesterday on the map. We did not yes. know so how the things go. And all of us is a Thank you very much.